Hi everyone, just a quick video on car relays, what they are and what they do and, and how to test them. So what is a relay? Well, a relay is a switch, uh, switching device that turns on and off a high current, high voltage circuit in the car. Uh, the reason we use them, uh, three reasons really. One is to keep high voltage components away from the driver. So if you're pushing buttons, flicking switches in the car, you don't really want all that voltage behind the dashboard, all that current, should I say, behind the dashboard it adds risk. Um, also, by using a smaller wire and a smaller circuit to control a relay, which will then power a bigger circuit, you're reducing weight, cost, space. Um, so it's a lot safer way of activating a large current circuit. So if you were to push your button in the car, what you do is actually energize a coil within a relay, and that would close a switch to then power a high consumption current or voltage system, such as a motor or a bulb or whatever that might be. So uh, most relays uh, are four or five pin. This one's a four pin and normally it's stamped on there, which each of those pins do. They use a German system called DIN numbers, uh, which is basically the German Institute of Standards, uh, but it's an international thing. All car companies use them. So these numbers are, are universal. So on a four pin relay, what you've got is a 30, which is on the way into the switch. So that would be uh, 12 volts from the battery on pin 30. Uh, on the other side of the switch, you've got 87, so that'll be 12 volts out and towards whatever the function of that circuit is, a motor, a bulb, whatever it is, and then earthed over there. And then this is the circuit that you control. Uh, so if you push a button, the low current on a smaller wire would come through pin 86, energize a coil. That coil in turn would uh, generate an electromagnetic field, which would then pull the switch uh, in, close that circuit, and then that circuit would then have continuity and it'd be powered and the motor would start running and obviously there's an earth to that side of the circuit as well. So why do we test them? Well, sometimes these can fail internally, the coil can split. Sometimes the switch can fail in an open or a closed place uh, position, which means that the circuit doesn't work. Um, these are a common cause of what we call parasitic drains. So when your battery uh, is going flat every day or a few days, sometimes these do not turn off and therefore they continue to draw battery voltage towards a, a door lock's a particularly bad one because you can't see a door lock you think it locks you walk away from your car but if that lock's still energized and still has voltage going into it you as the car owner won't notice or, or know that uh, but it's still drawing current and therefore will drain your battery uh, while you're away from the car so if the circuit's not working you've tested the fuse maybe you've tested the component directly as well with a, a voltage supply test or not a voltage supply test voltage directly onto the component like the motor uh, then you might want to check your relays as well. So uh, first easy thing to do is to check the coil, 86 across 85. So all I'm going to do with my multimeter, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to set it to 2000 ohms resistance because there's a lot of copper in there. So there will be a high amount of resistance. And all I'm going to do is find pin 85 and 86. So there is 85 and there is 86. And I'm looking for a resistance reading. Um, so the fact I'm getting a return tells me the current is going through the multimeter, from the battery in the multimeter, through the relay, through the coil, and back out again. So I can say that the coil uh, in that relay is okay. Um, if it's the switch that's faulty, then you're going to need to put power into the, into the relay. Because it's naturally open, or most of them are naturally open, you're going to have to energize the coil to close the switch, and then you can see if the switch is functioning. So what I'm going to do in this case is going to get another relay. Uh, and I've got this, which is a power probe. So it's got a live and an earth in it. This is just hooked up to a an external battery because I've got access to them. But a pair of crocodile clips from a power supply is fine. Um, you can go up to 12 volts with them. Normally when they're in the car, they may be uh, as low as about eight or nine volts. So I'm just gonna turn that off. So what I'm gonna do here then is I'm going to uh, put power through the coil and hopefully we can hear the switch close. So. 85 and 86. So I've got this again connected to a battery supply, so hopefully we'll hear a click if it works. Hopefully you can hear that clicking. That's indicating to me that that relay is working. I do have another relay here that isn't working just to prove it. So inside the relay itself, here is that massive coil that we're talking about. And this is the switch here. So this is the bit that closes 
when you press the button on the dashboard, flick the stalk uh, to energize the circuit, the electromagnetic field is generated here and that pulls that contact closed, which then allows 12 volts uh, high current uh, to whatever motor or bulb that is. So let's give this one a try then. So again, if we go to 85 and 86, so I'm gonna energize the coil and then we're gonna to listen to see if the switch is closed. And the switch is, let's have a look over here, isn't it? So there we go. So hopefully I can try and get that on camera while I energize it and see if it closes. Nothing. So the switch on that relay should be closing, but nothing's happening. So that relay needs to go in the bin. That is broken. And I'm going to try one more just to prove that it does work. So again, we're going to go through 85 on here. And I'm going to energize it on 86, which is on these ones, this is at the opposite corner. So over here, and hopefully you'll be able to see that switch close. Hopefully you can see that switch is closing. So that relay is working. You can hear it as well. So uh, in your case, in your car, you don't have to take the cover off it. You can just energize those two pins and you'll be able to hear whether it's closing or whether it's whether it's uh, broken. Uh, and obviously by powering it, then you're testing the coil and the switch uh, because obviously it won't close if the coil's broken. So uh, that's how to test a relay through 85 and 86. Energize the coil and see if the switch is working. If you're doing that test and you're getting no noise, no feedback, then either the coil or the switch is broken uh, and it needs replacing. Hope that makes sense. See you on the next one.